Lisa Farrar here, your holistic health coach, and you are watching Limitless Wellbeing TV. And I'm super pumped because we're in August Yay! and it's the month of the month. Woohoo! It's exciting. No, I'm really excited because I wanted to talk to you all about eating seasonal produce and the benefits of eating seasonally and locally. And since we're heading into August, we are heading into an awesome time for lots of awesome produce. Um, here in Ohio, we're talking about things like cucumbers, peppers, tomatoes, squash, herbs, leafy greens, berries. There's so much coming into season and I'm so excited. I'm totally nerding out. I know. But, um, for some of the benefits of eating seasonally, number one, um, when you eat seasonally, you eat locally, you're helping your body to build up a better immune system for the climate and area that you live in. Um, so, for example, here in Ohio, August is generally a little bit um, hotter and a little bit humid, or a lot of it, you know, it's Ohio. But um, the fruits and vegetables that come into season this time of year, um, when we start eating those, our bodies are able to adjust to that particular climate a little bit better. We build up our immune system and it also in turn helps to improve our digestion as well. Um, the second thing that's really awesome about eating in season is that it can be a little bit easier on your wallet, which everybody likes that. Um, so when you're eating in season, you're eating fruits and vegetables, again, that grow close to your area. So they're not having to be shipped from clear across the country or from another country entirely. Um, there's a lot more cost efficiency in eating seasonally and locally. And if you're one of those people that really struggles with getting um, a little bit better nutrition in your diet because you don't want to have to pay the higher prices, then paying attention to what's in season can really help you out and not spending as much at the grocery store. Um, you can even hit up your local farmer's market. Um, you can research that online as well. Find out where it is, when it's offered, and check it out. See what your local farmers have to offer for you. Um, the third thing that I wanted to tell you about, and it kind of goes along with um, the cost efficiency side of the eating seasonally, um, because it, your produce doesn't have to travel as far from the farm to get to your plate, you are actually going to have more flavorful food because it's going to be fresher and you're also going to be able to um, get more nutrition out of that food, which is a huge bonus. You know, think about if um, strawberries, I'm coming with this off the top of my head, sorry. Strawberries are being shipped to you from California. It may take a week from the time they actually get picked at the farm the time they're actually put in the grocery store here in Ohio. Um, now when you're eating seasonally and locally, those strawberries wouldn't have to be shipped clear from California. They're here, right? And it probably doesn't take an entire week to get them on the shelf for you to actually purchase. So you're going to have that fresher quality and there's going to be a lot more nutrients. It's not going to lose as much of its nutritional value in the time frame that it's going from farm to plate. So I want to give you guys a little bit of a challenge this month, and that is to get five local and seasonal fruits or vegetables into your diet this month. That's not a tough goal to get to. I know you guys can do it. It's pretty simple. You'll probably exceed this goal, but at least five times of eating seasonal local produce, look it up. You'll be able to find all kinds of lists out there on what's lo what's seasonal for your area. And if this is the kind of thing that um, you guys struggle with or, you know, you have trouble finding what foods to eat or you're struggling with how to prepare these foods, how to eat them, th these are things that I assist my clients with all of the time. Um, so I can definitely support you with this area. And if you would like, we can set up a... Free initial consultation kind of get you started. Um, you can visit my website. It's limitlesswellbeing.com to find out more. Or you can always send me an email. It's lisa at limitlesswellbeing.com. And thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I can't wait to see you again. Have a great month and good luck with your challenge.